Hi guys, welcome to my channel AutoTech with AJ. Mahindra has launched the facelift of the KUV100 called the KUV100 NXT. How do the new KFT stand against its competition, the Maruti Ignis? Let's find out. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel. Starting off with the price. The Mahindra KUV100 NXT is priced keeping in mind the Ignis at a starting price of Rs 4.39 lakhs to Rs 7.43 lakhs. The Ignis on the other hand costs from Rs 4.56 lakhs to Rs 8.08 lakhs ex showroom Delhi. Coming to the styling, Mahindra is trying its best to keep things interesting which is evident by the superficial changes that it has done to the KUV. The biggest change is done to the exterior. It has a new front bumper a new mesh, headlamps and tail lamps. All these are done to give it that SUV appeal. The Ignis on the other hand is a sporty crossover with unique styling which Maruti has launched to target the younger generation. It has an SUV like stance, hashback like proportions and a completely unusual design that we have not seen in any other Maruti car. Talking about the dimensions, the new KUV100 NXT is 25 mm longer than the older one and now measures 3700 mm in length which is the same as the Ignis. It is wider than the Ignis by 75 mm and has a height advantage of 60 mm over the Ignis. But the Ignis has a longer wheelbase by 53 mm which means more roomier cabins. Also. The Ignis has a 10 mm more ground clearance than the KUV100 NXT. Looking at the power figures, first the petrol unit. The KUV100 NXT packs a 1.2 liter M Falcon G80 engine that produces a max power of 82 bhp and 114 newton meters of torque. It is mated to a 5 speed manual gearbox. While the Ignis is powered by a 1.2 liter K series engine that produces a max power of 84 bhp and 115 newton meters of torque. Pretty much even Stevens here. But the big difference is that the Ignis is available in 5 speed manual and a 5 speed automatic drivetrain. Now the diesel engine. The KUV100 NXT is powered by a 1.2 liter M Falcon D75 engine that produces a max power of 77 bhp and 190 newton meters of torque. Whereas the Ignis is powered by a 1.3 liter engine that produces a max power of 75 bhp and 190 newton meters of torque. Here also, like the petrol variant, the Ignis is available in 5 speed manual and 5 speed automatic gearbox. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such reviews.